Hi brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you are doing well. What a wonderful time for us to celebrate Easter with our beautiful Lord Jesus where he went to the cross for us to die for us and to be raised again. It is such a great honor to celebrate it. Now the Lord has given me a word for someone specific. This word will definitely not apply to everyone. So if this word resonates in your spirit, sit with the Lord and ask him for revelation and clarity as to if this word is for you. Also read through the scriptures because I do believe that the Lord gave them specifically for you. I will type out this word and I will put it on the blog page and I'll put the link down in the description for you of this video so that you can go and have a read through it in your own time. Now, before I'll jump into this word, I'll just pray over it. My beautiful Lord, God, we just glorify you and worship you. My beautiful Jesus, thank you so much, Lord, for the price that you paid for us on the cross. My Lord, there is nothing like your love. There is nothing like your blood. There is nothing like your sacrifice. My God, we are here today where we are standing blameless and unashamed because of that price, my Jesus, that you paid for us. Thank you, my Lord. My beautiful God, thank you for giving me this word. I thank you, Lord, for whoever this word is for, that you're after their heart to give them the answers that they need. And so, my beautiful King, I just give you this word in the name of Jesus, and I just ask, Lord, that you'll cover this word with your blood, Lord, and that you'll let it go forth and to find whoever it is for. Lord, I just bind and I break by the power of your blood and by the power of your name any attempt from Satan to stop this word. Lord, I bind and break every witch, every warlock, every from the lowest to the highest ranking of Satan's demons, principalities, powers, and authorities with their assignments, petitions, effects, and attempts against this word, Lord. And I command them all into outer darkness. And I thank you for that, my Lord, in Jesus' most holy name. All right, so as I was sitting with the Lord, the Lord gave me three words. He said, movement, momentum, and speed. And he had me look them up as well. And so the definitions of these three words from the Cambridge Dictionary are as follows. Movement means a change of position. Momentum means the force that keeps an object moving, the quality that keeps an event developing or making progress after it has started. Speed means the rate at which someone or something moves or operates or is able to move or operate. And I feel that is very specific for you as well, whoever this word is for. Now to jump into the word that the Lord spoke. He said, Rise and shine, child, for my glory descends upon you. Wake up, wake up from your slumber. It is time to move and build the things I am calling you to move in and build. Not according to your ways and ideas, but according to my ways and my instructions. Much fruit will be upon the work of your hands if you continue to follow and build the way I instruct you in. For it is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit that all things will be accomplished. Don't delay, don't hinder the work. Time is short and too precious to waste. Come to me and ask how you are to build and how you are to establish. I will show you the way. You hear my voice. Was I were not there at the start? Why would I leave and forsake you now? Listen, darling, listen. Quiet your heart and mind and you will hear. There is nothing to fear, for I am with you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Give no thought to words of man. Rather consult me, the one who knows all. I will not misguide or mislead you. I know the ways you are to take. Trust me. Leap. Take that next step of faith. I am with you all the way. I love you. My beautiful God, I thank you so much, Lord, that any words from your mouth, God, can help us to cause us to move and to change direction and shifts. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for my brother and sister, whoever this word is for, that you would help them to wake up. Lord, that this word would truly sit in their spirit and that you would give them fresh vision, fresh dreams, Lord, for the anointing and purpose and destiny that you have for them. God, help them to see according to your perspective. Show them those blueprints and strategies. Help them to not delay the work, my King, but help them, Lord, to put their hands to work and not listen to the lies of the enemy that sometimes speak through people in opposition. God, I pray that you will bless them, and I pray that you'll give them the provision they need, Lord, to continue your kingdom work. In Jesus' most holy name. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, have a wonderful day. God bless you.